What's up, YouTubers? This is Mr. Monkey Swag, and what you see in front of you is all of my pickups for November. I didn't really pick up any uh, bullion, un unless you count these lunar coins as bullion, because they basically are slabbed bullion coins. Though, of course, I didn't pay bullion prices for them. But I didn't really pick up any, you know, basic bullion coins like silver eagles or maple leaves or anything. So everything you see in here is in a slab. Okay. So, let's get started. Um, so, what you see right here are two things that I picked up from... A local coin shop that was near my community college that I currently attend. Um, I wouldn't really call them an LCS. I think they're more of a gold exchange because they buy, because other than coins, they also buy diamonds and um, uh, jewelry and stuff like that. But they also have coins, so. I got um I got a, tw a 2007 uh Sacagawea proof um I I it's more of an impulse buy because I never had a Sacagawea proof. I mean, I do have, you know, brilliant uncirculated uh Sacagawea coins, but I never had an actual Sacagawea proof. So I just bought Bought it for about 12 bucks. Um, yeah, it's not silver or anything, but I mean, I just had it just because I never had a sack of joy proof, so now I have one. Probably not gonna be buying any more. Um, however, this is what I really came for. Uh, this is really interesting. Um, this is what you see. Uh, what I have in my hand is a Rattler holder. As you can see, it's called the Rattler holder because the coin rattles in the holder. And for those of you who don't know, the Rattler holder was the first type of slab that PCGS used ever since their create ever since PCGS was first formed uh, during the 1980s. So yeah, this is the earliest type of slab that they used. Um, however, you might know something peculiar about the slab. It said sample. Well, a sample, every time PCGS or NGC would, um, would, you know, re would use, release a new type of slab... They would test it out by creating these prototypes known as sample slabs to, you know, test out the new model. So, uh, that would make, uh, that would make this slab extra special. You know why? Because, as I said before, this is a Rattler slab, which is the first type of slab that PCGS ever used. And not only that, it is a sample of a Rattler slab, which would which could possibly make this one of the first slabs PCGS ever made. Like, it is probably the, the, the first slab out of the earliest type of slab that PCGS used. So, so this is pretty rare. I know, I know, um, they say buy the coin, not the slab. I, I know that, but, but I mean, Seriously, this is a Roosevelt dime. I mean, it's nothing rare. So in this case, the the value of the slab, you know, is uh, in this case, a slab is more valuable than the actual coin. So um, yeah, really special. I mean, it's a, it's a Rattler slab, which is the earliest type of slab that PCGS ever made. But not only that, it it, it is a sample of a Rattler slab, which would make this one of the first slabs PCGS made in in the in the earliest series of uh, of uh, slabs. So, yeah.
So, I mean, my slab could quite possibly be the first slab that PC has made. I mean, I mean, it's a possibility that my slab is the first slab that PCGS made. Though, of course, I mean, of course, that's just me guessing, but I mean, my slap is, you know, could possibly be, you know, at least one of the first few slabs that PCGS ever made. Considering that it's a Rattler and a sample. Okay, so that's enough of me just, you know, uh, talking about that. Um, so, next is an order that I got from Modern Coin Mart. So, uh, I know a lot of you guys already have this coin. It is, uh, it is a 2016 Australia Year of the Monkey early releases MS69 graded by NGC with the, with this gimmicky, uh, uh, monkey label, um, I mean, I kind of like this label, actually, I mean, you know, it's red, the label's red, so, and, you know, that's a Chinese, uh, color of good luck and wealth and stuff like that, but still, I mean, these labels are gimmicky, um, either way, so, um, so, yeah, I know a lot of you guys have this coin, though, though at the same time, um, I know not a lot of people actually like this design, but, I mean, but, I mean, I beg to differ, I, I really like this, uh, this design, though, I mean, I like anything that has a monkey in it, I mean, that's evident by my name, Mr. Monkey Swag 96 so, you know, I like monkeys. I like how there's a mama monkey sitting on the branch with a baby monkey uh, eating what appears to be a coconut or a citrus fruit right beside it. And I like how there's like multiple levels of frosting on this coin. As you can see, the devices are brilliant. The foreground has a matte, f has a really frosted matte finish. While the tree branch has a different level of frosting from the foreground. So yeah, that's what I really like about the Perf Mint Lunar Coins. Even though this is graded six, MS69, as you can see right next to the baby monkey's head, you see what appears to be like a scuff mark. So I mean, I really don't get why this thing graded as a MS69. Considering that... MS69, the fl the flaws of the coins are supposed to be visible only under a microscope. Yet, the scuff that you see next to the monkey's head, the baby monkey's head, right here, is clearly visible to the naked eye. So, I mean, I don't get why it's great as a 69. But, I mean, that's grading companies for you. They'll slab anything. <clears throat> so, as you can see... The usual suspect on these Australian coins, Queen Elizabeth II, though even though this is a 2016 coin, you don't see the updated portrait of Queen Elizabeth, you know the new portrait that got released of her, because I think only only Great Britain has access to, to the dyes for that new portrait, so, so Australia will continue using this old portrait of Queen Elizabeth. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's a nice coin. I really like it. So contrary to, uh, contrary to my, uh, username, Mr. Monkey Swag 96, the, the, the year the monkeys is actually not my year. I'm actually born in 1996, the year of the rat. Which also happens to be the first animal in the Lunar series. So yeah, so my birth animal is the rat. Um, though I don't have a 1996 gold rat, but I do have this 2008 uh, silver rat, um, which is from Lunar Series 2. 
So it's Year of the Mouse MS69, graded by NGC, with the Australia Australia label, where you can see, you know, the Sydney Opera House and the Australian flag. Another one of NGC's gimmicky labels. Um, so I mean, I really like the design of the rat. I like how, just like the monkey, there's you know multiple levels of frosting, like the hay and the 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 bale of hay and the pumpkins have a different level of frosting from the foreground, while the rats are brilliant. Um, so yeah. And up top, you see the Chinese symbol for uh for rat. So if you want to know how to write in Chinese, well, there you go. You, you know how to write rat in Chinese. Just copy the symbol. But yeah, I mean, I really like this design. Um, like how I like how they're pump. I like I really like the pumpkins in the background. They add a really nice touch. I think the pumpkins make the design look somewhat cuter. And, you know, the rats, you see them looking out for predators or humans or mouse traps or whatever. So, yeah, you see the rats have this cautious look while hiding behind the pumpkins. So, yeah, I really like this coin. Um, and as usual, Queen Elizabeth. So, yeah, it's a nice coin. However, now let's get to the more expensive stuff. So what you see right here is an 1879 $2.5 quarter eagle on circulated details with the obverse scratched. And it is the Liberty Head design. Okay, I know... I don't know if you can, uh, um, see the scratch. I can't really focus it. But it's, it's actually on top, uh, it's probably right here on top of, uh, Liberty's head. Well, it's actually between Liberty's head and the stars. That's where the scratch in question is located. I mean, I really can't focus this um, too well. Because of the shadow. So, you might faintly make out the, the large scratch that is between Liberty's head and the stars. So, that's what got it its uh, grading. I mean, this is a small coin. It's the size of a dime. So it's really hard to focus. So, speaking of this, I would like to do a shout out to uh, Numis Stacker. As you know, uh, he and several other stackers are uh, having this contest. But, um, I, but, I mean... Whenever I look at this coin, I, I'm kind of reminded of Numa Stacker because, as you know, Numa Stacker sends a lot of old coins, a lot of old United States and British coinage to NGC to get grading, and um, and some of them, unfortunately, don't come out with uh, actual grade. A lot of them come in these uh, details slabs um because the coins have problems that um that prevents them from being graded properly so so i mean the first instance many uh stackers get to see one of these slabs these dreaded detail slabs would be in numa stackers videos so um so, yeah, so I mean, I'm, I'm kind of reminded of Numa Stacker when I see these because sometimes grading doesn't go too well, at, especially because these older coins have cleanings and, and 
scratches and problems like that in the past. I mean, it really shows you how difficult it is to grade these older coins in comparison to these modern coins. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I would like to do a shout-out to Numa Stacker because I like how in his videos you get to see how difficult it is to, you know, get the grade you want on a coin. How you know uncertain grading would is, so the reverse of the coin have no problems. That the reverse actually hardly has any scratches at all in comparison to the obverse. The obverse had such nasty scratches that it, it's not gradable. But the reverse has nice luster, no problems at all. Okay, so that's so. Basically, by buying this Liberty Head Quarter Eagle, I basically bought... So, I'm basically adding another addition to my pre-1933 gold collection. So, if you're wondering what the next video would be, I, I will show you all of my pre-1933 gold pieces. All of them graded by NGC. So, yes, yeah, stay tuned for my next video. So, please like, subscribe, uh, and comment. Peace, YouTubers. Thanks for watching.